I want to ask the man to be real. You know, it's easy to blame the victim. And that's what he's doing. Shamelessly, he's blaming the victim. And that's not going to solve this problem. We need to, for him to sincerely engage the community. Sincerely engage all aspects of the community. The African American community, the Latino community, the greater community. To come up with real solutions to real problems. Economic investment. And the lack of economic investment is a big part of this problem. But I also agree with him that the community has to uh, accept the responsibility through our churches to teach values and to teach the moral imper imperative, to reach out to some of these young people and let them know that they, there is hope, that there is hope, and that there is another way to solve these problems. It starts with economic justice. We have extreme economic injustice in our communities right now. We have young people who don't see a future beyond high school. They don't even know if they need to stay in high school. And so they then become vulnerable to a culture where uh, uh, their hopes and ambitions are frustrated and they end up on the streets where you, waving a, a, a gun around is a norm of behavior and that it is okay to settle fights with gunfire. Uh, Jamia talked about this. You know, you can get into a, a disagreement, but why are you settling it with gun, with gun violence? That is not the way to do it. So, so it starts with economic injustice. We need to do so much better with criminal justice reform. Uh, we have to do much better with uh, community policing. And yes, we have to work on the gun um, legislation issue as well, because we here in Illinois and in Chicago are flooded with guns from outside of the state that are coming in. They're, they're being brought in by the trunkfuls. Um, from other states, and, and, and they're so readily available. 